I feel like most people have like this very rigid idea of who they are and they're very scared to like stray away from that and I get that like I've had that happen to me before but it's very important that we remember that through life we do change as people like who we are fundamentally changes we aren't the same as we were a few years ago like we aren't the same person we aren't doing the same things that we were doing. We aren't thinking the same thoughts that we were. So, it's not very, how do I put it? It's not very productive to fear that change or to try and prevent it from happening because that change is the ultimate goal. Like we should constantly be trying to change who we are to reach that final point of us, essentially. Like we need to try and get to that final point where we've almost like leveled up our character to like max level. And we do that by experiencing things, by changing our thought patterns, by, you know, just living life and letting life change us that way. And you know, in one of my previous videos, I was talking about how you should be fully you. You can be fully you on that journey. Like, throughout every step of the way, you can fully embody who you are. But it's also important to not get attached to who you are. You need to see your personality as being fluid, as something that changes over time, that shifts, that morphs into new things. And you need to stop craving the old version of you. You need to start looking forward to what the future can hold. You need to start trying to shape who you will be in the next year or the next five years or the next decade even. We need to shape that version of us in the present moment to be what we want to try to be and obviously you know the whole process of change means that we're not gonna know where we're gonna end up we're not gonna know what our goals are gonna be in a year from now unless you're like very like strict to the point like you know that that type of person right but you know i'm i'm not speaking to that type of person i'm speaking to the people that just want to live right so when we're living life, we will change and we can sort of direct that change by what we do in the present moment, but we don't really get that much control over it. So ultimately, the best way that we can utilize this concept is to act in the present. We act how we truly are while also trying to have this idea of who we want to be in a year and trying to work towards that but not getting attached to who we are or what our thoughts of who we should be is right we don't want to get attached to those thoughts otherwise it's going to make that progress a lot more difficult and that's everything i have to say but i just want to end off the video by saying don't be scared of that change. It's a good thing. So yeah, that's everything I have to say. That's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching and keep running when no one else is.